Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV. We are once again joined by Mark from Qualitex. Mark, thank Hi, you for Greg. coming. Hi, Greg. Hi, everyone. And today, Mark is going to show, well, if we show you what we've got so far, we've got a bride and a groom. Yes, in various states of completion. <laughs> completion. Yes. So today, we're going to be focusing on the new quick link faces. So we just really put the bodies there. Mark has put the bodies there. Uh, in order to display the faces, the heads. So, Mark, over to you. Yeah, so um, uh, we've always had uh, some nice printed faces, um, but the nice thing about the quick link is that it has an attachment point yeah. already there, which saves you having to do the raise and knot method or, or, or you know, using glue or adhesive. Yeah. Yeah. It just makes it really simple to, to do. So, um, what I thought I'd show you, I used to always panic when it came to bride and grooms because yeah. this bit for a balloon decorator not an entertainer not a twister this bit is relatively easy and then you panic when when you get to the head okay so i'll show you the first the simplest thing that we do because these are characters are really profitable yeah um and they don't always have to be super um uh, sort of uh complicated for people to think oh wow that's a that's a characterization yeah. and I'd yeah. love one. Yeah. Um, so what we've got is we've got uh, two different types of, of tulle, just because that's what we had on hand, yeah. uh, folded over at the top. And, uh, and we're going to just bring, bring our, bride. our bride in. So essentially what I'm going to do is just make a very, very inexpensive, simple veil yeah. by creasing this up around the top. And attaching that to the top there okay okay um with the quick link something to remember is that this bit that's inflated um is actually the pressurized part of the whole balloon okay so i recommend if you're attaching lots of things to the top just to take the air out just like you would the with the 260 down, like we would do with the 260 and just put a knot in there so if we're attaching tool that could you know grate over a period of time against the balloon the head's going to stay inflated. Okay. All right. Okay. Good tip. Um, and then I'm going to attach a scrap of 160. Um, I'm using 160 wherever possible because the knots are smaller. Okay. So it's you know it's it, it, it's it's less obvious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we'll take a tool, and then we'll just lay that over the top. And you can spend as much time as you want making sure that this is really pretty and achieves exactly what you want to. So you could put more achieve. tool on there if you want. You can to. put more on there or less. Um, one point of question is always the amount of weight that you're attaching to the top of the balloon. Oh yeah, okay. Um, uh, with this particular design, this is based on um, one of Sue Bowler's original uh, brides. Mm. The nice thing is, is the arms are leaning forward slightly. Okay. Um, which means that there's a bit of weight at the front, which counterbalances the weight of the veil uh -huh, at the right, back, okay. which is, is really nice. So we've got our ends there and we've got a veil down. And that's just a nice, very, very quick, simple, way of attaching it the, the quick link has made so fast yeah yeah um just to finish that off we've got one of our small mini uh, 160 bows but without the second bubble okay. on the other yeah. side and that will sit nice and flat there is a bmtv balloon basics on how to make that mini bow and i actually made one so it's it's not difficult okay Saying that, I don't know if I could make it again, Mark. I'm sure you can. Without you we telling me how to right do it. right now. No, we, oh, okay. we shouldn't. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe we haven't got time. Try to catch me out there. <laughs> and then it's just a case of removing the uh, the, the ends and, uh, and away you go. Nice, okay. nice, nice, simple design. All right. Cool. So I, like, I love her because she's got the, obviously you've got the tool on there now, but the, the necklace and the bits at the bottom, it, it seems to be the, the little add-on bits. The that, finishing that make bits it really make the good. perceived yeah. value. Um, these are all tulip twists just gathered together. Yeah. Uh, uh, and it saves you actually creating hands. Yeah. Okay. So they're just attached in the center, which ah, makes it right, really, okay. really simple. Yeah. Um, and the base you could replace for hearts and, yeah. and, and, and make that different. And you can customize these, um, uh, you know, in line with whatever your bride's yeah. needs are really so i like the necklace and, and, and all that stuff. well i can show you that on the i can show you it's a similar construction method okay if we do the groom all right okay shall we uh drop oh yeah let's, in? let's get this extra bit of platform okay 
So this is a Air 646. Again, in the top we've we've got the the air there um, from the actual 646. So I'm just going to create a quick a quick knot. Yeah. In the top, and that just means that when I'm attaching now, I'm attaching to something that that, that can't deflate the rest of the balloon. Just okay. nice and easy. All right. Um, so I'm going to start with uh, a white. Uh, uh, 350 and we'll do a similar sort of collar okay. to this so it, essentially this is a string of bubbles in a 350Q um, so it's probably easy if I do these over here so when you're doing this this is a this is a, a, a thing that every when you first start modeling balloons everybody tells you to practice doing a, a string of pearls yeah uh, and this is essentially what it is one of the tips that I think we mentioned before is once you've done two bubbles if you put uh, uh, the twist in between your uh, little finger and next finger, ring, ring finger along, yeah. it leaves your hands free to continue to, to do bubbles. And we need five. And you always twist the same way? Always twist in the same direction, otherwise when you let go, they will untwist. Yeah. See, I do listen to you sometimes. <laughs> Not very often. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. Okay, <laughs> uh, and that's just going to be able to uh, uh, sit around the top when when we when we've got the the, the neck in. Okay. Okay. Um, so for the head, I'm going to put a finished head on this one. All right. Yep. So I'll hold that. Hold that there. Oh, he's got a hat on. So this one's got a hat on, uh, and I'll show you how to make that separately. Okay. So you use this collar to support the head? I am going to use the collar to support the head. So how are you tying that on? So at the minute I've just wrapped it around, okay? okay. Because we're going to attach the shoulder piece to here. But I do have to burst the rest of, uh, uh, of this of this balloon and just do a, a, a double knot there okay I'll then choose a 350Q to the arm yeah and I'll tie this into that same point again it, it hides the mechanics if we always use the same point that we're tying that into so this is exactly what you did here? Is that exactly right? what I did here, um, but you'll see how it starts to take shape now when I do a pinch twist for the shoulder. I lift the bubble and twist around and that creates the shoulder piece okay. and, it, and it pulls the arm into the right direction. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. So I want two at the back and three at the front, so my next arm has got to go into to, to that point there. Okay. So this is the front we're looking at now. This will be the, it can be the front, we can twist it around. At the moment it's just a cylindrical column, okay. column so we can, we can adjust that in a moment. Um, so I'm just gonna wrap this in, Greg. His arms are a bit long, Mark. They are, but we're gonna adjust the length um, afterwards uh, i could have made them uh, a, a lot shorter um but it's it actually it's got to be at least half the length of the body yeah so i wanted to tie those together to complete the the the, the actual scale so you'll be using that technique you just use to tear it and rip it up well i'd love a pair of scissors but have we got enough pair of scissors i've not got, i've not got one on me okay so. have we got any scissors there's should I, go, should I go and get some? No, we've got it. I can get some. I don't know where you put them. Remember scissors. Okay, so about halfway down we want to create an elbow. To do that, I'll just do a shock twist in there. And then I can repeat that this side. And then around there is where we'll have the, the finished hand. Okay. Okay. So, 
I can repeat that this side. And then cross those over. And that will be where our arms finish. You're going to do it, aren't you? Oh, you are as well. Bit harder with 350Qs. <laughs> yeah, I see why you wanted the scissors. Okay, tied off there. Then we just add to uh, add the hands. Okay. So if we if we take a normal 260Q and make a loop, pass the neck through. Yep. To the side and repeat the loop. On the other side, so you've got two the same. Yep. It's a very strong mark. I do it like that because I'm not a professional. And then we tie, tie these straight in as his hands straight onto the character. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. I think it's alright. <laughs> There you go. And there we go. He's done. So we put him back with his bride. They they look like they're going to be very happy together. Very happy. Very happy together. Okay. Well, what about his hat? Obviously, he had his hat on there already. I recognise that. Do you? Yeah, yeah. That's that's an apple twist. Yeah, that's an apple twist. But we can show you that separately if you want to have a. Let's have a look at that. Shall quick we look at that? We'll take a chap's head. Stay. 260 and an 11 inch which has been sort of inflated to about seven eight inches okay uh, and then a knotted off right at the end of the neck and that leaves all this great neck to be able to pass all the way through the balloon to the other side twist 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 i do think that's the cleverest cleverest twist it's great isn't it and with a, just a little scrap. Doesn't matter what colour it is, because it's not going to be Well, seen. it's going to attach to his head, so it's actually, it's, oh, it's going to okay. be under the hat, so it's going to be fairly invisible. And then a couple of knots just for security. And in the same way as I do a cluster, tie those tightly together. It's quite important to get these as tight as you can, yeah. because you want the hat to sit nice and close to the, to the head. You don't want it to blow off, do you? <laughs> okay. Thanks for laughing at my jokes. I like your I appreciate jokes. it. I appreciate it. So, to finish this off, we're just going to create the brim. So, I'll take it round. Now, if you if you do this too tight, you end up pushing the the um, or stretching the connection point, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it doesn't look like a hat anymore. If you do it too loose, you can actually see the top yeah. of the head, and it doesn't. It's not one piece. Okay. So the easiest thing to do, I think, is to roughly take that round at where you think it's going to be light, right, but a little bit looser than you'd expect. Create a little uh, twist in. Wrap around. And then we need to remove the end of that. And then I really need to learn how to do that without having, you know, scissors, scissors. Um, and then once you've got that there, you can see there's a bit too much movement. Yeah. So all I'm going to do now is create a little bubble. in there yep. and turn that into a pinch twist and then you can pass that pinch twist back to the other side if you like to hide it out of the way and that just tightens up the brim so you could adjust that to be whatever size you want whatever size you want as long as you can't see yeah head in between the hat and the brim that's cool. absolutely fine that's brilliant perfect there we go but i think they are going to be very happy together however mark not all brides have as little hair as she has. 
True. And she's got a very nice, nice veil and, and headdress. Um, but some people might have hair. So is there anything we can do with hair? Definitely. I can show you a few different uh, hairstyles. Okay. All right. Um, let's, let's do that then, shall we? And we're back in the room. And we've got scissors. Scissor break. Scissor break. Right, Mark, <laughs> so you can obviously do something more creative with these yep. heads. We can add some hair. Yeah, shall we show everybody? We've got some examples. What you've done, yeah. She's a cool lady with grey hair. So that's just rub it all the way around. Grey is very fashionable at the moment. It is. <laughs> and we've got somebody with brown hair. So these are all very, very simple um, techniques. That, that was repeated and we can do more, we can add more, we can make different styles. Um, so there's no rules really? There's no real rules, it's creativity and, yeah. and, and ideally if you can be copying your subject in some way, even if it's the hair colour, yeah. that you're going to get a lot from that personalisation yeah. part of, yeah. uh, 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 of the design. But these faces look so <laughs> much prettier with hair, yeah. Um, yeah. they really bring the, the, the eyes and the, uh, and, and the smile to life. I think they're so. great. Um, so what we've got here is we've got a feminine uh, uh, face in blush um, and I've already uh, uh, created a knot on the top uh, with a quick link. They're nice and round, we've, yeah. we've rounded off the, uh, uh, the face to start with and I need to attach to the bottom of there something that we can use to hold and wrap round. So I'm just going to do a couple of pinch twists together. That's just somewhere that we can attach our head to, to, to start working. Okay. So is that, is that going to form part of the finished design or not? Um, you're not going to see that part of the design okay. because actually I've, I've got them in here. You can see the two pinch twists. Oh, so right, effectively okay. for, for swapping the head out, you can just burst this piece and then that just keeps the, the, the head nice and stable on, on the inside. Okay, all right. So that makes it nice and easy to do. Um, uh, and then we're going to take one of our chocolate brown 260s and then we need to attach that. So I'm going to attach that at the base. Pull a little bit of neck out to use. And then just wrap that figure of eight into the design. And this is really important to start with, is to get this as tight as you can around the side okay, of the, yeah. the, the face. That's really important. And then at the top, I'm going to create a bubble and then a pinch twist. You had to attach into the top. So why do you do ra that rather than just tying it on? Um, I, I've left a, a, some neck of the quick link at the end. Okay. So if I need to attach anything else, I can wrap it in. Um, uh, but essentially, that gives me a, a central point and a point at the base to then attach all of the hair okay. to. Okay. So then we can. can Continue to wrap this round nice and tight. And then when you get back to the base area, you need to create a twist yeah. and then wrap. Okay. But you can sort of start to do that all in one. The wrap and the twist can become one sort of motion. So start to create a twist and then just sort of roll that twist around, around the base. Yeah. And for security, if you want to, you can keep rolling that through around one of these pinch twists. Yeah. And then you can just remove the excess and drop that in for security. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we can tidy all the ends up and, 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 and complete that afterwards. Occasionally you'll find they're really useful if you want to attach a, yeah. an extra, extra curly bit on. Um, and then what we've got to do is we've got to go backwards and forwards from the top. 
So I'll do one and then I'll show you sort of okay. uh, a, a, a bit moved on on the design to the next piece. So you just repeat that? I'm just going to repeat this. Right the way up to the top. Pull it nice and tight. Create your twist and then continue to wrap that twist around and back down. And I'm absolutely sure there's, you know, entertainers out there that, that are, uh, are going to be screaming. I'm not an entertainer. I don't do this every day. But, you know, have a go. And that's the most important yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You create a lot of extra um, perceived value uh, and, 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 a, and a lot of uh, great style and a lot of desire for you, your designs if you just have a go. And that's the only way to, 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 yeah. to really get there. And then we finish off again, wrapping that through. And then removing the excess. The wrap is actually your knot, in essence. Yeah, yeah. So as long as you wrap that through nice and tightly, you've got your knot. So you can see now we can just continue to go backwards and okay. forwards yeah. until we want to add some additional. So you can put as design. much hair on there as you like. You as can have multiple hair, if like. layers if you wanted to. So here's one I've done some more of, yeah. all the way around. Okay. Uh, and now I'm going to move this last piece up to the top. And they want to create some sort of character okay. in the hair. I'm going to run that down to the side. Now if we create a nice soft bubble in there and turn that into a pink twist, I can use that to tuck the hair That's under it. that first tight band yeah. that we created. Clever. So once that's tucked in, you can then take that next piece back to the top and already you've started to create yeah, some, yeah. some design. So you could have a, a fringe going one way, you could have a fringe going both ways. You can, exactly. You can, you can do as much or as little uh, uh, as you like. Or if you're in America, they're called bangs. Are they? Yeah. Never knew that. A fringe is called bangs. You could also do some curly yep. 260s. Um, and we can attach that back into that, that, that central same point there. I think we've got a BMTV Balloon Basics on how to do those curly cues, haven't we? Yeah, well, sure we have. Have so we? There you, you can start to make as much or as little yeah, design and, uh, and character you like. And essentially just, just keep going. Brilliant. Mark, thank you. So, what other heads have we got? Have we got just some that we're just going to put on and show everybody? I think so. There's some slightly different uh, designs. This is a more sort of fashionable look with the cutaway. Yeah. There. So it really just depends that's on. A, that's a 160 instead of a 260. That's a 160, 160 instead of 260. Just put on a different area. At some point, with Star Wars coming up, we should do the the Leah buns. Yes, of course. <laughs> I didn't think about that earlier. That would be excellent. Yeah. Photos of Leah buns are needed. I yes, <laughs> yes. Um, Mark, thank you so much for that. We'll show those actually on the bride in a second. But uh, question of the week. Have we got a question of the week? I keep asking you this. Yeah, I think, I think we need to, you know, find out when Rob's film's happening. Well, when? <laughs> well, that's not a question of the week. That's a question to Rob. <laughs> Rob, the magic man behind the camera, has uh, done his own film. And uh, when he's famous and he's in Leicester Square or in LA, um, yeah, we'll let you know. Anyway, that's it from us here at Balloon Market. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you, Mark. See you all next time. Bye. Bye. What'd you say that about Rob for? I have no idea. <laughs>